right your turn buckle comes uh unassembled like this this helps uh you save shipping because if it's too long then the box is bigger and then it costs more okay and anyway your turnbuckle needs to be fully open and then we do this for you okay you have to thread it halfway through the nut here more or less okay you need it as extended as can be okay this one turns counterclockwise okay same thing here about halfway okay and this is the turnbuckle ready to install on the zip line take the cable you're going to go around okay uh, around the tree this is the the tree wrap okay turnbuckle is gonna go here okay and i think it's too long okay so i'm gonna give it one more turn like this okay but very important if you use if you do this on the live tree okay you need to protect your tree with pieces of wood pieces of plastic two by four anything you can find okay uh and uh it's good to put a nail on it Okay, but just for the show, I'm using uh, two by twos, okay? So you do this until until you see that the cable is, is between the, the turns is not touching the tree, okay? So if I pull it, you'll see that there's a gap here, okay? So you don't need more, okay? Normally I would do this, I would put nails on it and go all around the tree, but just for the show, I'm just gonna leave it like this, okay? So this is gonna go like this. Put, the turnbuckle on okay so you're gonna go put this here through all right put the bolt on it and the nut okay tie it properly and then you see this is ready to receive the main cable is gonna go here right here okay this is where your main cable is gonna go all right and this is a good installation Okay, and uh, well, of course, I should have another block right here, another one behind. Okay, but again, just for the show, we're not putting it. Okay, and once you have your tension all the way in, as much as you can, use a two for one pulley, or uh, if you have a, a pulling kit, then it's the perfect solution. Then you're gonna close the turnbuckle on itself, okay, until you add that little. Then that, that little bit more tension that you need, you know, to in order not to touch the ground at the bottom or or anything, you know, you need to, you need to tie it until you get the proper tension, okay? And that's, that's it for the turnbuckle. Okay, one thing that's important: you should have the same distance between your turnbuckle to the tree, okay? Um, let's put it another way: the diameter of the tree, if it's 50 centimeter you should have at least 50 centimeter between the bark of the tree and here okay to allow this angle here to be uh more open okay okay so so in this case because i put those pieces of wood it's uh too tight okay so what i'm gonna do is take them off okay and do it single so that's gonna go like this this right and then I'm gonna put my trees my tree protections like this okay and on the other side and behind okay so you're gonna have something like this okay so the angle is is very narrow here okay so that's the best way because anything uh, similar to what we had when we had the dead turn around it is not good. All right, for those of you who have uh, a backup cable, the backup cable is going to go around the turnbuckle to back it up in case of failure. Okay, so it's going to go through the uh, the eye of the cable through both of those cables here on the three wrap okay and then you're gonna put four of those here the wire clips okay so we'll start with one as soon as we have one <clears throat> it's gonna go hold itself 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put one, but not all the way tight. Okay, and I'll show you why. Okay, now that I have one, one of those um, wire clip on, okay, what I wanna do is pull the loose as much as I can pull it all. Okay, so, so my loop is as tight as it, it can be. Okay, and then a little tiny bit of pressure on this here will keep it where it should be for now. Okay, now I'm gonna add three more. All right, never put a saddle on a dead horse. What does it mean? It means that the saddle of the wire clip should be on the live cable, okay? And I'll show you in detail what I mean by that later, okay? Right, here it is assembled, okay? You see that it's going through the eye of the main cable, through the eyes of the backup cable, okay? So what I was telling you about the live and dead horse, never put a saddle on a dead horse, okay? So you have the dead cable here, okay? Which is the tail, okay? You have the saddle on the live one but you see that these are inverted because what is live right here becomes dead the other side okay so the saddle needs to be on the live cable right here okay so you see what i mean all right so this is the backup cable assembled